Minister for Buddha Sasana, Religious Affairs and Cultural of Sri Lanka, Venerable Buddhist leaders, esteemed delegates, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum and very good evening. I warmly welcome all the international delegates for the symposium from Gandhara to the world, to Pakistan and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. It is indeed a great honor to have such esteemed guests in Pakistan. I could not attend the inaugural session of the symposium due to some pressing engagements outside Islamabad. However, I requested my colleague, Minister for Religious Affairs and Interfaith Harmony to join you and welcome you on my behalf. I'm glad that the event has been very successful and you had productive discussions in the symposium. Ladies and gentlemen, let me extend my heartfelt felicitation to our Buddhist sisters and brothers on the auspicious occasion of Visak. The important occasion offers as a moment to reflect on the timeless teachings of peace, compassion, and understanding. The symposium from Gandhara to the world provided a vital pro platform to explore our shared heritage and discuss ways to preserve and promote the same for future generations. Pakistan is a proud custodian of several significant sacred Buddhist sites. Gandhara, located in the northwest of Pakistan, is the region which contributed to the spread of Buddhism to the world. The historic land with its rich cultural and religious legacy played a pivotal role in the dissemination of Buddhist teachings across Asia. Ladies and gentlemen, several notable historical locations such as Texla, Takhbai, and the Swat Valley are home to ancient Buddhist rallies and monasteries. These sites were once thriving centers of Buddhist scholarships, attracting monks and scholars from far and wide. Pakistan is committed to preserving its Buddhist heritage. We encourage joint efforts to promote and produce and protect these historical sites, collab collaborative projects in archaeological research and cultural tourism can bring greater awareness to these landmarks. By working together, we can ensure that these sites are not only preserved but also celebrated as part of our collective human history. Ladies and gentlemen, our shared ancient heritage offers a foundation for further strengthening ties between Pakistan and predominantly Buddhist states by fostering cultural exchange programs, religious tourism, and educational collaborations we can build stronger bonds of friendship and mutual respect. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, let me also take this opportunity to call for consistent efforts aimed at promoting intercultural and interfaith dialogue. It is the need of the hour that we make efforts for greater understanding and take a joint stand against the forces of intolerance violence and hatred against any religion and religious group. We should establish a joint forum focused on dialogue and collaboration, ensuring that our efforts towards peace and understanding continue to grow and flourish. Ladies and gentlemen, religious leaders have a key role to play in guiding their followers toward mutual respect and understanding. Their influence can help bring divides and promote their influence can help bridge divide and promote a cultural culture of coexistence and unity. In this spirit, 
I urge greater collaboration between Islamic and Buddhist communities worldwide. Let me once again thank you for your visit and your valuable contribution. I wish you a very pleasant stay in Pakistan and a very safe and uh, uh, pleasant journey return to, their, to your destinations. I thank you all.